Hi guys, we're back with another video and this is my everyday makeup drawer. I love bringing these to you guys and you love to see these. If you love these type of videos, make sure you give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe before you leave and let's get straight into it. This is where I show you guys my makeup drawer for the month of January. I am a little bit late. I usually try to put it out like at the end or at the very beginning of the month and we are a few days already into the month so i definitely want to get this out i always show this video i like to show it um i like to show you my drawer like disorganized and everything because we are going to organize we're going to give away we are going to declutter and um this is kind of like my thought process i am downsizing my makeup so this is one of the ways that I am doing it. So let's get straight into it. I am going to be starting off by taking out things that don't belong. Like for instance, this stuff right here, that's hair stuff. This is the secret sauce. Let's see, by It Cosmetics. We will keep this in here just because I feel like it's a moisturizer that sometimes I need to just grab a moisturizer. Um, these are, that's Double Wear Light. Love this lip balm by Smooth Naturals. It's called Smooth Lips and it's amazing. I know it's beat up, but it's well used. Let's go through these blushes, things that don't have a place. This blush, uh, these blushes by Pacifica. I'm gonna leave these I'm actually gonna put these in here I don't know if they were in here before I think they were you know what and I have been using these and I have been loving these I think I'm going to some of these you're gonna see in a favorites video so I don't want to take them out necessarily so let's see yeah let's leave those in there this is something that I am going to declutter this is the Jouer I think they have new blushes coming out but this is in the shade bloom nice blush but um I think I wanted to declutter this and um, I've only used it like once or twice so I may put this on Poshmark. Uh, the Laura Geller. Now I'm not going to declutter this but this is a, um, I've used a considerable amount of this but this is more of my tan shade or my tan <laughs> I could use this as a bronzer right now to be honest with you but this is more of my summer shade so i am going to put that away for the summer i think i'm going to put this in my skincare because i keep forgetting to use this this is my charlotte le Creux. i am going to come with a former review on uh, their products um actually you should see this soon but um let me take this out actually to do the review okay i have my girl y'all I have to find my my pomade do you know I forgot where my dip brow pomade is I'm gonna put this back just because I have the Anastasia brow powder and the pomade I want to kind of get through those and this is the oldest brow powder I have and it's still going strong like these colors still pigmented okay so but I know I can't have it in my everyday makeup drawer. I just pull it from the drawer. This is a moisturizing primer, but I'm going to pull this out because I'm using Makeup Forever right now. So that's not going to get any use. I just pulled out this Baird. This is a makeup remover. I don't need to have this in my everyday makeup drawer because it is not going to get used. I'm noticing things that won't get used because I won't pull them out. Now, let's talk about this. This is the Pandera shimmer collection nine stack this i'm feel i feel like this is by bella p air it's so so beautiful so that's how those pigments look they are so beautiful okay but to be completely honest i don't use these what i might do is keep these for my kit and declutter the 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 pigments by mac at least i can get a lipstick out of it because i do have some pigments by mac so i'm going to keep this for my kit just because sometimes you do need a sparkle sparkle kind of thing so i'm gonna keep this for my kit i am going to declutter it out of my i've never used this so at least this can go in my kit to use on other people but 
I've never used this, but yeah, I'll declutter that. Moving on, let's go to powders, okay? I have not used this just because I am currently using this one. And I am trying to hit pan. I've expanded that pan right there, but I'm trying to hit pan on that and hit pan on that. I think that bronze is next, but let's go ahead and take out this. This is the Sasha Buttercup. Um, this is the Luminous Powder by Iman. If you notice, it has kind of like a shimmer tinge, but to be honest with you, I'm not the shade right now. And I'm not into powder just yet. Not this kind of powder, not, you know, it's, it's a bit drying for me right now. So we're not gonna use that. This I'm gonna keep in here just because I feel like I need to use this and then put my RCMA no color powder. This is the Mary Kay, I've talked about this so much. Maybe I'll put this in a project pan or I need to put this near my project pan products because I can definitely set my face under my eyes with this. So I'm gonna keep this in here. I just don't reach for it um, as much right now just because it's easier to reach for stuff up here. So maybe I should put it somewhere. This face powder by MAC, I love it. I'm gonna keep it in here just because it is so sheen and luminous. Look at that, it's so beautiful. Okay, keeping that in there. Okay, let's see what this is. This is the NARS. This is a blush that I need to use. I've used this on my eyes too. I need to like make a point to use this blush. Okay, so blushes. Won't we make this the blush brush? Look, the blush type of place. This is a blush. I have not used these blushes, y'all. And yeah, I'm keeping that. Let's keep that in there. This is cool toned. I really need to try these Makeup Forever ones. I have not tried these blushes yet. So let's make it a point to definitely try these. Okay. Okay. So those are blushes. Is this a blush? Let's see. Yep. Let's put that in there. So these are all blushes. Makeup Shayla, I have not used her enough to give you a review on it, but because they're cool tone, I definitely want to keep those in there. I need to make it a point to use that. I think I'm going to keep everything in here except the Tom Ford. Tom Ford, I have worn out for holidays, y'all. Such a beautiful palette. I am going to pull, put that to the side. I do want to use my Baked Browns by Dose of Colors. I had this in here and I feel like, you know, some of the stuff haven't, hasn't been used because I had so much other stuff. Turn it this way so I can put my baked browns in here like this. And we will stack these like so. Okay, what is this? Mary Luminizer. Do I have, oh, I have um, the palette up there. Does it have, let's use, let's, we'll get a new highlighter out because I feel like this one has a lot of I need something maybe with um, a rose gold undertone just because that one has a lot of gold and shimmer and that one's so beautiful okay so we'll get a different type of highlighter out so we're gonna pull, put that one to the side. I do want to, I'm gonna bring this forward because I do wanna try these two. For you guys, this is the old formula and this is the new. There you go. Aha, uh -huh. there, yay. Okay, Smashbox. Uh, I wanna talk about eye makeup removers because I feel like, let's put these in the back. Just because it's always good to have a good eye makeup remover on hand. What's in here? Let's see. New sticks. Ooh, I like these. That's an eye one. Is this a lip? Whisper. I have this one. This is a, a second one, isn't it? Oh no, but I love this color. So this. Oh, 
um, this can stay in here. I really don't have another place to put it, but it's uh, th that is super nice. Let me put that there. This is a makeup brush cleaner. Um, I'm going to leave this in here because if I put it up there, I might end up spraying it on my face. I want, let's pull in some um, ColourPop because I love ColourPop. Let's pull in some other colors. This is Hustle. This is one of my favorite shades. That's matte from them. Let's pull in Hustle just because I can throw that on my lid and in my crease and call it a day. These are some other shadows. Let's pull in some typical ones. Okay. Let's pull in. This is On the Rocks. I love this shade. Let's pull in. Is this Cricut? Cricut. That's like a beautiful purpley shade. I used that in one of my videos and y'all could not get enough of that one. That one's very pretty. Um, let's use, what's this? Sequin. What's this one? Mo Mooning. That one's pretty. That's a like deep bronze. Um, am I feeling bronzy? I already have a bronze in there. Um, that's a metallic. Let's put drift in there. And let's put a gold. That's a maze. And let's put flipper. Okay, so that's enough. We'll put those in there. Get some use out of our color pop and our what is that H and M. Let's just make it even so it it looks nice. Okay, I like Cricut. Okay, let's take out this one. This is kind of springy shade. I'll take that out. Okay, so let's move on to lip colors, what we want to bring in. I think I'm going to keep Melted Fig over here just because. Let's pull some lip colors. Since it has to be Sephora themed. We can take out the Chanel. We can take out this MAC. We have Makeup Forever, Makeup Forever. Let's take out ColourPop. Because I'm trying to make everything... That, you know, you can take out MAC. Laura Mercier can stay. Let's take out all of these MAC lipsticks. Okay. I think we are done. I do have some in my project pan. Don't forget to look at that video. But thanks so much for watching, you guys. This is the organized mess of a video. <laughs> This is so, like, yeah, it needed to be organized. These luminizer, um, ColourPop, we have some glosses. I'm going to test those out, but anything else, I'm really going to try to stick to Sephora-based products because it's going to be a Sephora-based favorites video coming up just because it's a Sephora-based project pan that I'm doing right now. So, yeah. um, thanks so much for watching, you guys. I will see you in 